I'm Semeli Sherry and I wanted to share with you today some personal experience of having gone through Kumari's Divine Human course. Uh, oh, difficult to know where to start. I think the thing that has stuck with me most from going through all of the levels is just this feeling of freedom and expansion. I'd done a lot of self-development and spiritual work before, but it, it kind of felt like I'd reached a ceiling of sorts. And I know that during Divine Human, it was as if the lid that had been placed over my head had suddenly been released. And there was this whoosh, a sort of uprushing of energy and a downloading of energy as well, which just meant that I felt I was holding in my physical body far more of my soul than I'd been able to before. My spirit, in fact, even beyond the soul. So really downloading a lot of the higher self energy. Um, and when I think about that, I mean, it was several years ago when I went through um, all three levels. And just looking back now, thinking in my memory, what's happened to me in that time? Well, I've moved to my dream home. I have evolved my work into connecting more with my ancestral spiritual lineage, which has meant so much to me and it's informed and expanded my own work. Um, my confidence has grown exponentially such that I'm able to put myself out there more now and teach a little bit myself. Um, so yeah, seeing, seeing those results um, really physically and practically in my life in a, in a really easy and joyful way as well. It's never felt like hard work since doing Divine Human. It's just flowed naturally um, and beautifully. Um, what else do I want to say? Um, I think the other thing I absolutely loved about this course is it's not all about yourself and working individually. It's very much about working with a group of people who are at the same spiritual level as you are. And it's very collaborative. And we're playing with the energies as well. We're creating as we go along. So Kumari is a fabulous teacher and she guides us in, but what comes out of each level is really a co-creative process between all the people in the group um, the, the beautiful light beings and energies that we're working with um, and it's expanding and growing all the time and I know for a fact that I think Kumari's got a few new tricks up her sleeve for this version of Divine Human so I'm very excited about that. Um, so yeah it's always growing and expanding and I think particularly now where we're at, um, at this moment in time with COVID and climate change and political fiascos going on and just where we're at is we're wanting and needing people to work in this way. First of all, we need to remove all the limits we've set upon ourselves. I know socially and materially in the world that's obvious, but I think on a soul level too, those limits have been there. And so for more of us to go through this divine human experience and remove those limitations, remove those restrictions and totally claim our divinity while still being on this earth so that we can steward this beautiful, beautiful planet in the way that we're meant to. That for me was a big part of divine human as well, because what's the point if we're not going to bring all this beautiful love, light and harmony to the planet? 